Jail Hokkaido has been in a difficult financial situation. The railway had to withdraw two or seven from service that year. However, nobody had any idea that they changed the fate of this engine in a totally unexpected way. But that's another story. In 2015, Tobu Railway near Tokyo officially announced the initiation of the new steam train service, running on one of their branch lines. This railway has a rich history as one of the largest private railways in Japan, and operated several steam locomotives in the old days. Their last steam engine was withdrawn from service in 1966, and all facilities for them had gone. In order to run a new steam train, Tobu Railway spent around 20 million dollars to build new facilities from scratch, including a workshop and a fancy roundhouse. As a side note, the E7 type bullet train, formed of 12 carriages, cost more or less the same price. You can tell how the railway put a lot of effort to launch its steam train service from almost nothing. The railway chose 207 as its first steam engine, and JL Hokkaido agreed to loan the locomotive to the line. After the engine received the overhaul at Naivo Works, the locomotive left the island. 207 arrived at new rebuilt workshop in Minami Kuihashi Station of Tobu Railway, where people modified the engine to fit around their line. The biggest modification the engine received was the brake fan. Which always required to be coupled behind the locomotive for the sake of the automatic brake system. In August 2017, the engine pulled the inaugural run of the steam train named Taishu, which means a huge saint tree. Just like 227 did on Oiga Railway many years ago, I must say the sight of initiating a new steam train service never gets old. Taishu steam train has been successful, but on the contrary, Mokarare was struggling with maintaining 325. Due to its increasing maintenance budget, as such, the line has no choice but to sell the engine in 2020. And you guessed it, Tobu Railway purchased this locomotive. After the modifications, the engine joined the service alongside 207, and Duo welcomed their visitors. Until the end of the 2021, the railway had two operational C left, but yet they had a great ambition of restoring a static C locomotive from scratch. And now we have the final operational C11. Number one was built in 1947 by Nippon Shadow for one of the small private railways near Lake Viwa, the largest freshwater lake in Japan. The truth is, this is one of the few Class C11 that JGR built for a private company. This engine was once given a name, Hiei, possibly named after the mountain close to the lake. After being sold to another private railway in Hokkaido and working around the dockside until 1975. The engine was withdrawn from service. Allegedly, before the engine got almost scrapped, a railway enthusiast purchased the C11 and sold it in an unknown location on the island with other steam locomotives. In 2018, Tobu Railway procured number one, and this dilapidated engine was transferred to the railway's workshop. Tobu Railway's first major overhaul of a static steam locomotive now commenced. Speaking of the restoration project, I highly recommend watching the NHK World documentary featuring the excruciating details of this engine's whole overhaul. Link in the below. After three years of overhaul in July of 2022, the engine backed into operation with a new number, 123. The celebration was indescribable. 123 did a triple header with 207. And 325 in a depot. Number 123 now joined the fleet of Tobu steam locomotives, and I highly recommend visiting a line to get on their trains. Okay, we featured all six operational C11s. Let's take some honorable mentions, which are not operational but worth talking about. First of all, what happened to Oiga Railway's number 312 after its retirement? Sadly, the engine's boiler was used for 227, and the locomotive has been considered to be never returned to service again. The engine was put on a siding for many years, rusting away and being forgotten. However, in 2020, the new roadside station was opened adjacent to Cuddley Station of the line. 312 was cosmetically restored and became statically displayed there ever since. Next is number 292. This is arguably the most famous C11 because it has been displayed in Shinbashi Station, one of the busiest stations in Japan. In 1972, to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the first railway in Japan, 292 was moved to the station square. Although this engine was never built or used around the area, it now became the symbol of the station. What's more interesting is that this engine blows its whistle every day at 12. 
3 and 5 pm. Check this out. Is it safe to say that this engine is still operational? I don't know. The following locomotive is number 64. This C11 belongs to the Kyoto Railway Museum, renowned for its huge roundhouse shed and a large number of preserved steam locomotives. The engine was operational when the museum was opened in 1972, but eventually withdrew from service. It has been statically displayed in the shed for many years, but in 2021, the engine was fully modified for the special event of Thomas the Tank Engine. Just like the Oiga Railway, this museum attracted many younger visitors during the event. After the five months festival finished, the engine back to the original black livery and is now statically displayed inside the roundhouse. Lastly, this one, number 328. This is a 15 inch gauge replica of the C11 with the same number, built by a university professor in 1995. The engine was donated to Nijino Savo theme park, where two British built locomotives are operational. Now, here's the thing I've always thought 328 is just a mock up and didn't have a proper boiler. However, I found a magazine a year ago showing this engine running with the professor in the cab. Of course, the attractive performance of this engine is too low for the passenger services of the park, but I never expected that it ran all by itself. After the professor's passing, 328's boiler ticket expired, and the engine became statically displayed in the shed or siding. But a cosmetic restoration of this locomotive takes place from time to time, and I hope the park keeps taking good care of this unique engine. If I describe Class C11 locomotives, I'd say, well, you guess it, useful. Despite the attractive performance being lower than their senior locomotives, the practicality of this engine has been undisputed and became a symbol of many local branch lines. But I have lived a time when the practicality of C11 most shines is during the preservation era rather than the working days of the government railway. The reason why is that the number of operational C11 is higher than any other serviceable class of steam locomotives in Japan. Considering only two of the D51s and C57s, arguably the famous steam locomotives of the nations are operational in the country, you can clearly see that this type of tank engine is really useful. Thank you for watching all three videos, and of course, fingers crossed for the Oigo's Railroad's recovery from the landslide. I'm looking for once again the black iron horses, and Thomas the Tank Engine will run up and down through the beautiful line. By the way, there are two consecutive stories about the two anthropomorphic C11s written around the 1970s. Next time, I'm gonna talk a lot about these books. This is gonna be a big one.